So yes, my name's uh, Alex Petrovich, and the observant amongst you will notice that that is a foreign surname. And growing up in England with a foreign surname, you hear some bizarre pronunciations of your name, and you know, it doesn't really bother me that much, and so it shouldn't. But September last year, an MC missed two letters off the end of my surname, and you're thinking, Alex, you probably shouldn't be so precious about that sort of thing. And then you realise that this MC introduced me to stage as Alexander Petrov. <laughs> and this was a week after it was confirmed that that was the alias of one of the Salisbury Novichuk suspects. <laughs> and believe you and me, that creates a certain level of tension in the room. <laughs> At least if my attempts to make them laugh fail, I can go, <laughs> it is all right, do not worry, I'm not a comedian, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> But what was the audience thinking that night? Are they thinking, oh, that, that interview they did on Russian national television, that's clearly not cleared their name. So they're now going to clear their name by breaking the UK comedy circuit. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Alexander Petrov. I will be doing some observational comedy for you this evening. Don't you hate it when you're on holiday in Salisbury? <laughs> and you get accused of being an international assassin. What's that all about? <laughs> Airplane food, am I right? <laughs> I will now do controversial politics material for you. Has uh, anybody else noticed just how great Putin is? <laughs> I have mailing lists. Do not worry about providing me with your email address. I, of course, already got all of your details. <laughs> Growing up in an English school as well. English school kids, oh, they have fun with a foreign surname, don't they? Oh, they get creative. I'll give you a few examples. Alex Petrovich. That soon became... Alex Petri Dish. <laughs> Alex Retro Prick. <laughs> and my personal favourite, Alex Petrol Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my surname is it's a, it's a Serbian surname, actually. It's not a Russian surname. My granddad was Serbian. He's a very proud Eastern European man. And he used to show how proud he was, but in really bizarre ways. He used to say to me things like, Alex, I hate English orange juice. English orange juice, it is shit. The oranges in Belgrade, where I'm from, they were so pure. <laughs> Went round his house. Do you know what he was drinking? Neat orange squash. <laughs> so it's shit. And I love that Eastern European logic. It's so no nonsense. Isn't it? Straight down the middle. And I went for a meal with him once. And my granddad uh, ordered a steak. And the waiter asked him, and, uh, how would you like that steak cooked? And he looked the waiter straight in the eyes and went, <laughs> Good. My grandma was Croatian. Uh, she used to have some bizarre ways of pronouncing things. and I, you ha I had no idea what she was saying half the time. Let's see if some of you can uh, work out some of these. Um, okay, this is the first one. It's a bit difficult, so bear with me. Bite size. Bite size. To be fair, that is quite hard. That one's Weetabix bite size. <laughs> That's cruel of me. I apologize. I'll give you an easier one. Zoop. Soup, we're all going soup. Uh, it's like a quiz show. <laughs> Do you want to ask the audience? <laughs> so, Zoop wasn't soup, that was 7 Up. 